In this video, we're going to look at the Accents AW32011 dual channel uh, USB charger, and we're going to tear it down and see how it's built. We're going to look at the Accents Dy X Dynamo dual two port wall charger. This is a 36 watt dual charger. We're going to put it through its paces and load it down and uh, see what it does. So I haven't even opened it yet, so let's uh, let's crack open the case. So this is the charger. It's got your standard two ports on it. Plugs in just to a straight outlet. We're going to put this through a test. I'm just going to test it with the USB as I don't have a PD cable. I've just got the standard USB or the QC. So for testing, we're going to use our standard USB power meter. We'll plug the unit in and this will measure the power that this puts out, voltage and current. And we'll just plug it into our, our high current load. So this is showing that we are drawing 2.36 amps. So now I've disconnected the load resistors and we'll power up the light and see whether it will power up the light bulb, which apparently it, it doesn't. It shut down. So this is a good test on the overcurrent protection, short circuit protection. You notice that once I remove the overload, it starts up again. And again, apply the short, and it shuts down. So it doesn't supply enough power to light up a 50 watt halogen lamp. That's exceeding the current capabilities of the unit. After all, it's only rated at 36 watts. But it will, on the USB port, it will provide 2.37 amps and the voltage doesn't drop by much still putting out 4.95 volts and that's going to get these resistors hot enough to actually melt solder it's also a quick charger so if I take my phone and I plug my phone in, it should change the voltage. It should go up to either 9 or 12 volts. This is a QC 2.0. It tells us that right here. The charge volt, charge voltage is 9 volts at 1.3 amps. So that will charge my phone up very quickly. Yeah, fast charging. 65% charge, 45 minutes until fully charged. 1 hour and 38 minutes till fully charged. That's on a regular 5 volt charger, as you can see. And I go to the QC charger. Forty five minutes till fully charged. So it's a fast charger, charges at higher voltages. This one's a QC two. Now the specs on this unit is a QC3, so it doesn't show as QC3 on my little meter there, it's only showing as QC2, but that might be also a limitation of the uh, cable I use to connect to the phone. Uh, it shows the PD output specifications 5 volts at 3 amps or 9 volts at 2 amps, and the QC3.0 output 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, and 12 volts, 1.5 amp. So let me see if I can find a cable that supports the 12 volt charging and I do have 12 volt charging going through my little wireless charger and there's 12 volt charging as you can see on 12 volt charging it's only uh, using well it's ramping up here it's gonna go up to about an amp probably just under an amp so there we go 700 
700 and 800 milliamps looks like at uh, at 12 volts and that's wireless charging and of course my phone and of course it says about the same time on that actually a little bit longer 58 minutes because wireless charging of course is not as efficient as hardwired charging but uh, it all depends on the capability of your charger and the cables but here we go 12 volts so it does put out 12 volts it's QC3 it's saying mode unknown here but it is QC3 and uh, there you go 5 volts 9 volts and 12 volt charging uh, your results will most certainly uh, vary depending on what hardware you're using this time I've just grabbed another this is the RAV power uh, fast charging pad again when my phone is dropped on here and 9 volts this is just a QC2 charger not a QC3 and it, it only uh, it only claims to do 5 and 9 volt charging whereas the other one the uh, the other uh, charger I just showed you it was a 12 volt it was QC3 so it all depends on your device as to what this is going to charge at but it will select based on communication with the device as to the capability and select the appropriate voltage let's crack this thing open and see how well it's built but you guys want to see what's inside it and hey they, the company gives me these things to, to show them off right because they want to see what the they want me to show you guys how well they are built and stuff so let's just we'll just crack this thing open and I'll have to glue it I guess back together if it goes back together that may not be possible when I get done with it So the cabinet is uh, very well glued together. I had a heck of a time getting into this thing, but get into it, we will. There we go. All right, there is the unit itself. all glued together okay so what do we got in here well it's it's potted quite nicely as you can see they've put uh, they've put a bunch of silicone around here to keep everything in place so there's our input fuse right here 3.15 uh, amps 250 volts as you can see, everything is all potted nicely. Uh, I can't find any fault with the design of this thing. Just by looking at it here, uh, all surface mounted components, everything seems to be you know, glued down nicely. Hopefully I didn't bank damage that capacitor. I don't think I hit it, no. When I was prying it apart, I don't think I hit that cap. But, uh, so say, everything in here looks to be, uh, looks to be relatively uh, well built. They've put a lot of this potting compound in, in silicone in here so that th this will this will protect the charger. Th these type of things tend to get dropped. You know, you're using them as a travel charger a lot of times and you're traveling around and you're throwing them around and they tend to get banged around a lot. And one of the biggest problem with components getting banged around is if they're not secured down to the board, they're going to, you know, damn it, they're going to break. So they've, they've, they've put a bunch of uh, glue in here silicone type glue to glue all the components down in place to keep them uh, from uh, becoming damaged from shock looks to be well built so hey that's about all I can show on this thing now I'll put it back together and, and see if it actually still works I'm gonna have to glue this thing together now because I kind of damaged the case but Hey, at least I can't sell it now. I can say, hey, I destroyed it. They sent me this thing to evaluate, and this is about as good an evaluation as I can give it. I can't turn around and sell it now because it's, it's damaged goods, but uh, I can certainly use it. Anyway, that's, uh, 
that's about all I can show you on this thing. Thanks for watching. A link to this uh, is in the description. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.